All right, hey there. Uh, my name is David Breen. My blog is animalcartoons.wordpress.com, and here I'm just going to give a quick little tutorial on how to get a snake character to animate along a path. And uh, this is a technique I'm going to be using for my movie, The Last Mice. TheLastMice.com is where you can go to check it out. Okay. So this tutorial assumes that you already kind of know your way around 3ds Max, so I'm just going to show you the the bare bones here. And so we have these bones for the snake. These are just normal bones that are created under the systems here, bones. And you just, you know, go to the top view and make sure the S is selected so that you can snap to the grid and you just create a line of bones. I created mine about every four uh, units and then you make the head bone one big long bone so that the head stays as one piece. You skin those bones to the body. And then what you want to do is create a helper object here. Create helpers point. Create a point helper. Align that point helper to the main head bone here. And then you want to link the head bone to the helper so that the helper moves the entire snake. Okay, and then the next step is you want to create a path using splines, create, just create any path that you want your snake to move and then you select your little gizmo here your helper, go to animation, constraints, path constraint constraint to the path and then make sure that under motion make sure you have uh, follow checked make sure you do that so it will rotate and uh, follow the path accordingly and that is under position. You don't want to, if it's under rotation or scale, which it might be by default, you won't see your options, so make sure it's on position. All right, so then it will follow and the snake will follow. However, you need to run a script so that the bones will curl along the path, otherwise, it'll stay straight. And that script is called spring, uh, springtime script, I believe. Let's check. So you just go to run script. And it's under Max Scripts. No. Max Files. Max Scripts. And we have yeah, Spring Magic. That's right. Spring Magic. And I have the latest version here. So you open this up. Keep all the defaults how they are. Um, the spring right here, if you set this to 1, I do know that will keep it really stiff and basically negate the whole purpose of the plugin. So the lower you go, the more kind of flexible it is. 0.3 seems to work. And what you do is all you do is select the you would think it would be this, but you're selecting the head bone, just the main the first one that this is linked to. And then after you have the head bone selected, you just click the bone right here. Select first bone. See it even tells you. And then you click that button and it will play out your animation, whatever animation you have. In this case, the animation is for this box with the snake following it to follow the path. And it will play out the animation, bake in keyframes for you, and it will take care of all the math and scripting involved to get this chain of bones to follow the head movement as it curves around. So the rest of the bones are not following the path. The rest of the bones are mathematically um, programmed to follow the head bone as it moves and turns in a specific way, in this kind of wavy spring magic type of motion. So that's very nifty. Uh, whenever you start to really become an expert or a pro, semi-pro at 3ds Max, or Maya, or any of those programs, you're going to start using a lot of scripts. You pretty much need to in order to do some very specific things. Alright, so that is this tutorial. That tutorial it is over. Thank you. Hope you learned something and can apply this to your own projects. Have a great day.